Hey everyone, my name is Sophie and it's finally time to give you a tour of my toddler's big boy room. When I found out I was pregnant with our second baby, I decided to transfer him from the nursery that we had decorated for him into a different room and redecorate it for him, thinking that maybe in the future our second baby boy would come join him in this room and this could be like the big boy room and then I wouldn't have to redo the nursery. So I left the nursery as is, decorated this. He's still only two. He just turned two, so he's still in a crib, which I have behind me, so it's not a complete big boy room, but I think the way that it's designed, it will last a really long time and hopefully grow with him and maybe grow with with both boys. So with that, let's jump into showing you the room. We have to start with the main focal point of the room, which is this accent wall. And it is wallpaper. The rest of the walls are painted gray and they were originally painted gray. I just left them as is and went with this black and white, which was inspired by the dresser. So the dresser is a hand-me-down. It is from my brother-in-law. He was moving, had a dresser. We were expecting our second baby and we're going to do this transition and needed another dresser for a second bedroom for one of our kids. I was thinking of doing white furniture and had all of these different themes and black didn't really fit in the vision I had for any of the designs that I was thinking of. I kind of let it inspire me. I was like, what if I do this really simple black and white theme because it can hopefully grow with the boys. I really like the way that it turned out. The black dresser is what inspired it all. I was able to design this wallpaper. It's a really cool company where you can pick the basic wallpaper pattern that you want and then you can customize the colors. You can also customize whether it's like a gloss finish or the type of finish of wallpaper. It is peel and stick so it's relatively simple. I will say geometric patterns like this are not as forgiving as other patterns. I can't lie to you, my parents helped install this so that's a note from them. I was very pregnant and mostly sitting on the chair watching them and kind of directing as they put up the wallpaper but I think in general, the peel and stick aspect was not difficult to install. It was just lining up those angles exactly perfectly because both of my parents are perfectionists, kind of like I am. I added a mirror above the changing table here. I know that's a really popular thing to do. I didn't do it in our first nursery because there's actually a window above our changing table. We still have a changing pad because like I said, our son is just two years old. He's not quite potty trained yet. We also have some wipes on the top here in the dresser. I have his extra diapers in here. And then we have his sound machine on top of the dresser. And on the other side there, we have an Amazon device, which I like to use to ask what the weather is when I'm getting out of his clothing in the morning, the music and other things like that. That is the dresser and I can show you what's inside the drawers as well. Inside the dresser drawers, I organized it the way that I organized the nursery dresser. I organized my own personal dresser. I really like to have little things like socks and underwear and pajamas near the top of the dresser. So that's what I have in this first main drawer. I have on the left side his two-piece pajamas. Then he still has some zippered pajamas that I have folded a little bit larger. Then he has underwear because he's working on potty training. We also have his socks. And then on the far right side, I have his holiday themed pajamas, which if you have kids, you know that as long as something fits, they wear it and you want them to wear it to get the most out of it. So I just have those separated on the side, but they still fit him right now, even if it's not the correct season for him to be wearing them. But hey, they're pajamas. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Then I also mentioned that I have diapers on the top and then on the other drawer over here at the top, I keep extra sleep sacks and extra crib sheets. The next level down, I have divided it into two sides because there are two drawers here. The left side is what I use for all of his winter clothing. The right side is all summer clothing. So left side, I have long pants, sweatpants, jeans, nicer pants, all of those things. And I also have all of his long sleeve shirts. And then on the other side, I have shorts, t-shirts, swimsuits, anything that more so applies to summer. And both of those are in his current size. You'll see from the drawers that I've showed, I have these expandable drawer organizers. They come in a few different colors. I like that they expand to perfectly fit the drawer 
and they actually work really well for little kids clothing because of the size of the compartments. They do sell them in a few other sizes if you don't go with the expandable route and I like that they're modular and you can get them to fit your drawer pretty well because they design them for dresser drawers and most dresser drawers are pretty standard sizing. Then at the way bottom on the left hand side here I have all of his clothing that is too big for him that he's going to grow into. I have it divided by size and by item. I have a lot of stuff in 3T for him already. Honestly I don't need any more pajamas for him because I have so many but I have things that I think go all the way up to a size 5T whether it was like on clearance, on sale, somebody gave it as a gift, it was a hand-me-down, whatever the case might be, this whole drawer is things that he needs to grow into. And then the other drawer here on the bottom on the right hand side, I keep extra blankets and then sleep sacks that are in the next size for him as well, which we probably should transition to because the ones that he's in go up to 24 months. And like I said, he is now over two. So we can probably break out the new ones and put the other ones in storage for when baby number two is going to shift into them. The next obvious thing to share is his crib. Very important to have a place for him to sleep. This is a hand-me-down crib I got from my cousins. The crib that we have in the nursery is also white, so I just left it in there. And this ended up working with the black and white theme as well. I really wanted to accept the hand-me-down dresser and the hand-me-down crib. So having one black and one white and building upon the theme worked for us. You'll see I have a really nice blanket that I got from Etsy. This company is incredible. They are handmade blankets, but they're also machine washable. It has the ABCs on it and it's in black and white, so it fits with the theme. And then I was kind of disappointed. The crib sheet that I got, I added to our baby registry and it was supposed to be more of a black color, although it looks very gray. So I don't know, I might order more of a black, black, like a true black crib sheet. But for now, it still kind of blends in. And then you'll see my toddler is obsessed with the jelly cat stuffed animals and has received many as gifts throughout his life. We got one of them for him when we were on our baby moon, but he likes to have all of the stuffed animals in his crib. They do not match the room, but hey, he loves them. So we leave them in there. And then a faux plant in the corner there. I just wanted to fill that space a little bit and fun to bring a little bit of a pop of color because I know with this black and white theme, it can get kind of monotone looking. So that pop of color really does help a little bit and make it feel like there is some more life to the space. Then there was still some open space on this wall. So I got this long live boyhood duo art set. And I really like that you can stack it vertically on top of itself, or you could display it horizontally. It is 3D, it's wood, so it's really, really nice quality. And you can customize the colors that you want. You can pick the frame color. I obviously went with the black frame <laughs> to keep with the room. But I love that if I end up having both boys in here and adding two beds and move artwork, I can rearrange it in different ways. There's also a little wall when you first walk in the room that I could easily see that going on if I do switch things up. So I like that it's versatile. And you can also see next to it, we have our curtains. These curtains are blackout curtains, even though they're white, and they have the cutest little black pom-poms with boys. It can be hard to draw that fine balance between cutesy and youthful, but not too girly. And also thinking about a room that I want to transition into the later toddler years. I'm hoping that it adds just like a little bit of fun, but it's not too babyish or childish, that it will still work as they get a little bit older. And I am very impressed with how black out these curtains are. We did hang a curtain rod up there because there was no curtain rod in this room. There are shades, so sometimes we'll pull the shades down and use the blackout curtains. But honestly, even without the shades, the blackout curtains do a really great job. This area is one of the ones that gets the most use in the room because we love reading stories. We read stories every night, but also throughout the day, especially on the weekends when we're hanging out at home. So we have this chair right here. And then on the other side, there is a table. And on the table, I have a small remote that plugs into the lamp. We did this in our nursery. It's been the greatest thing. It makes any lamp into a dimmer lamp and then we can control it. So if I'm sitting there and reading a book to Owen, 
I can have the remote right there. And once we finish our book, I can just press the button without standing up and we can turn the lights down a little bit. So if you have little kids, it is the perfect tack for a nursery or a toddler room as well. The lamp that we got is kind of fun because it does move. You can swivel it a little bit so you can put it more over the chair or more into the corner of the back room. I think the lamp itself actually does have a dimmer, but I still like having that button control and remote and having that close by because I can't reach the lamp while I am sitting in the chair. The chair we got from a furniture store at their outlet. It swivels, it doesn't rock, and we were okay with that because Owen's a little bit older. We're going with a big boy room. We didn't want to invest in a second glider rocking chair or think that was necessary. And then, oh my gosh, the blanket that I have on that chair. I love how soft and fluffy it is. Last but not least, before we pop into the closet, this is a floating bookshelf that I added. We added a floating bookshelf in our nursery last time and I loved being able to decorate it. I changed it up for every single month and I would put different themed books based on the month up there and kind of decorate it. I think I'll probably do that in this room as well, but for now I have it decorated in the theme of the room and all of these things we actually had before. I didn't buy any of them special for the room. I put his jelly cats that are black and white up there. So his zebra. And then for last Christmas, he got a soccer ball one, which is so cute. It has little feet and shoes. And that Owen sign is from a California artist that my mom got when I was pregnant with Owen. And now it fits so perfectly in this room. I got that picture frame from my in-laws. It's more of a cream color than a white but I swapped out the photo there was a previous photo in there of Owen so when he was a baby but I did one of the black and white photos that our newborn photographer did and we are also doing newborn photos for our second and I think it'd be kind of fun to get a photo of the two boys together and I could add that as a black and white photo if both boys end up being in here and then I just grabbed any small book because these floating shelves aren't that deep that was black, white, or gray and tossed it up there as some decor as well. I love using books and color as decor. You'll see in the closet in just a second. I will show you how I do that and add a little pop of color into the exact same thing in our nursery, which Owen loves. Now we're in Owen's closet. I have a full video organizing this closet, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth about it because I will link that video and you can head over there and watch it. But this is the bookshelf organization I was talking about in rainbow order. Lots of fun with the colors. On the bottom, I have extra stuffed animals and like little loveys and toys. And then above it here, I have extras like diapers and wipes and then items for travel. Like he has his own little headphones and other little knickknacky things that we use specifically when he is traveling and on the go. Up higher here, I have his shoes. These are mostly shoes that are the next size up or special occasion shoes that he's not wearing all the time. The shoes that he wears on a daily basis we just keep in the mudroom because there's only a couple of them and he's constantly using them and it doesn't make sense for us to go all the way upstairs to get a pair of shoes for him then i have a bin which i always recommend for all kids rooms especially in those years especially in those years when they're going through clothing so quickly it is a too small bin that bin if i put something on him i'm like Ugh, your pants are a little bit short your sleeves are a little bit short that's a little bit tight on you take it off instantly, put it in the too small bin. Then once it gets full, I can put it into longer term storage, but I like having something here so I can address it in the moment and don't end up putting it back into the closet or the dresser just out of laziness and not wanting to put it into long term storage. Then I have a memories bin. I put his baby books in there. Um, things like from his birthday parties, like if I made him a special cake topper, anything like that goes in the memories bins. And then I have way up top bins for accessories, cold weather and warm weather, whether they be hats, baseball hats or warm weather hats, winter hats and gloves and other things like that. Don't have that many, so it doesn't take up two bins. I could probably have it as one, but for now we have two and maybe again, I keep thinking with an eye towards having two kids in here at some point, we could always have one that says like Owen's accessories and the other one says Henry's accessories. But I will show you quickly the clothing side. 
Nothing too crazy with his clothing here. I have everything that fits him in his current size, some 24 month clothing, but mostly 2T clothing, all organized. I put matching sets together. I do the shirt, then the pants and put them together. I have extra hangers. I love hanging things with little kids clothing. I think it's a lot easier than folding and we have tons of closet space and kids just don't have that much clothing. So it works out great. I also got this cute little laundry hamper here. It is black and white and kind of fades. I love it. It has handles easy to carry to the laundry room and it's a good size. It fills up pretty well for how often I do his laundry. Above on the next shelf up, I have all of the hanging clothing that he is growing into. Again, things that are hand-me-downs I bought on clearance or on sale. Somebody bought for us as a gift and it's just waiting in the wings to move down. And I like having them separated that way because that way I know what to look for. My husband also knows what to look for. And it's just a really simple way to do it. Of course, in our nursery, we did the same thing, but had those dividers for six months, nine months, 12 months, because they change sizes so quickly. This is just a little bit easier. I just did one category of what currently fits and one category of what is too big. So that is the entire tour of the big boy room for Owen. I previously filmed his nursery, which is a jungle safari theme when he was first born. So I will link that video as well if you wanna see what the nursery looks like because I've been talking about that a whole lot. If there are other videos or room tours you wanna see or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I will see you all later.